Two experienced and certified cave divers visited Madison Blue Spring to explore its passages. However, during the dive, they lost their guideline and had to either find their way out of the cave or perish when they ran out of air. Florida is rich in springs due to the presence of limestone and dolomite layers beneath the surface, easily dissolved by rainwater that permeates the ground. An excellent example is Madison Blue Springs State Park, situated approximately 10 miles east of Madison along the Withlacoochee River's west bank. Within this park lies one of Florida's 33 first magnitude springs. The park's inception dates back to 2000, when a private landowner sold 38 acres encompassing the spring. Before the property changed hands, the spring served as a crucial freshwater source for local residents. The spring, with its pristine clarity, boasts dimensions of about 25 feet in depth and 82 feet in width. Additionally, it features a 150-foot spring run that gracefully flows into the Withlacoochee River. The source of this flowing water is a cavern that goes to a depth of 25 feet. The waters at Madison Blue Springs maintain a constant temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year, creating an inviting environment for various water activities. This unique spring's underwater cave systems have gained international recognition, attracting divers from all corners of the United States. Florida State Parks reports that explorations have covered over 26,000 feet of underground passages within Madison Blue Springs. Certified cave divers from around the world are captivated by the allure of the underwater mysteries present in this renowned location. Madison Blue Spring has earned its global reputation for offering exceptional diving opportunities and showcasing spectacular underwater scenery. Beneath the pool surface, approximately 30 feet down, a sizable opening reveals an entrance to an aquatic cave, serving as the gateway to an extensive and fascinating cave system. This underwater realm draws enthusiasts seeking both adventure and the chance to explore the hidden wonders that lie beneath the surface. October 17, 1999 was a day never to be forgotten in Madison Blue Spring, Florida. Two passionate divers, Rich Siaba and Kevin Lin, set out for what they thought would be a regular exploration of the springs. These guys were no rookies. They came prepared with the needed gear, which included a set of cave-ready gear featuring classic backplates, wings, powerful lights, and Nitrox computers providing vital diving information. They eagerly dipped into the invitingly clear and warm waters of Madison Blue Spring, expecting a routine adventure. The early moments of their underwater journey held excitement as they skillfully navigated through rocky tunnels, spotting aquatic ocean fossils embedded in the limestone floors. Everything seemed normal, but little did they know that this dive would turn into something much more than a routine exploration. It was about to unfold into a gripping tale of underwater adventure and unforeseen challenges. As Rich and Kevin continued their underwater journey, they found themselves in the Horseshoe Room, a vast chamber with stone structures dividing its space. Here, divers had intriguing options to explore side passages, such as the captivating Godzilla and Monkey Rooms. The adventure pressed on through the main tunnel, eventually leading them to the notoriously challenging Rocky Horror section, known for its narrow twists and tight bends. Confronted with the tight and twisty challenges of Rocky Horror, Rich and Kevin made a decision. Opting for the left fork, they ventured into the Roto-Rooter passage, reaching a depth of 78 feet. True to their safety-first mindset, they decided to turn back at this point, ensuring they had enough resources to safely return. However, as they retraced their path through the half-hitch, a restriction too narrow for side-by-side -side passage, things took an unexpected turn. The water's flow intensified, leading to a silt-out, a situation where visibility drops sharply due to suspended particles in the water. The dark particles created hazardous conditions, making navigation through the restriction challenging. In the midst of this silt, the person in front lost the guideline, a common challenge in cave diving. Imagine the predicament. Visibility gone, tangled up in a narrow passage, and a lost guideline. The underwater journey for Rich and Kevin suddenly took a dramatic and perilous turn. 
Facing the challenge of losing their guideline, Rich and Kevin swiftly took action by deploying safety lines, securing themselves to the known end of the guideline. The strategy was to extend outward in different directions, hoping to locate the other end and find a way to safety. However, with each movement, the silt intensified, making the search more challenging. As they carefully felt around the ground in the murky water to locate the guideline, rising silt further added to their struggles. The need to repeatedly pass through the narrow half-hitch restriction added another layer of complexity to their predicament. Imagine the difficulty, low visibility, swirling sand, and a tight passage to navigate through. To compound their troubles, issues arose with their diving gear. Entanglements forced them to temporarily unhook their gear for on-the-spot repairs. In the midst of this underwater chaos, they encountered another setback, getting disoriented while attempting to follow the cave wall, rendering their watches useless in the dark waters. At this point, they were facing three life-threatening problems simultaneously, with the clock ticking, gear troubles, and a challenging environment making their ordeal even more perilous. In the midst of challenging conditions, with no visibility and no clear path to follow, the seasoned cave divers drew upon their extensive knowledge of caving to navigate through the constraints. Working closely together, they skillfully maintained the correct course. Their perseverance paid off when they stumbled upon the downstream line, a crucial guide for their advancement. Unfortunately, their progress was hindered by a sudden mishap as the worn-out end of the guideline became entangled, causing complications and restricting their movements. As they approached the two-hour mark underwater, nearing their air limit, a sense of panic began to take hold. Even Rich and Kevin, who were trained to handle individual challenges, found themselves overwhelmed by the mounting problems. In a desperate attempt to address the serious issues they faced, they resorted to cutting through their lines and exchanging signals that something was terribly wrong. The following day, the staff at Madison Blue Spring noticed that Rich and Kevin's cars were still parked exactly where they were the previous day. This raised concerns, prompting them to swiftly contact emergency services to kickstart a rescue mission. Responding to the urgent call were three proficient cave divers, each with their own unique expertise. Lamar Hires, the president and CEO of Dive Right, an influential figure in the world of cave diving, took the lead. Joining him were Mike Bruick, a campground owner, and Tony Flores, a member of the National Speleological Society Cave Diving Section. The rescue divers strategically formed groups, with one specifically focusing on exploring the side passages within the expansive Godzilla room. As Tony and Mike progressed toward the main route, they were scared of what they might see. The discovery of the broken main guideline raised concerns and raised suspicions about potential dangerous scenarios. Despite this, they still hoped that the missing divers might have opted for a second dive or were camping above ground. The rescue divers continued their journey skillfully navigating through the cave's challenges, including overcoming the half-hitch restriction. In a quiet cave, Tony and Mike found a sad sight. Kevin and Rich were stuck together and looked at each other sadly. One diver was without gear, and the other was fully equipped. The friends seemed frozen in a final hug, a heartbreaking scene of friendship and impending tragedy. As rescuers understood the sad truth, it was clear Kevin and Rich couldn't survive underwater. Their attempts to breathe from empty tanks were a sad sight to see. The cave took their last heartbeats. The rescue team focused on finding clues and checked the diving gear. One set of gear had nowhere left, but was still working, and the other had 500 PSI left, raising questions. Did panic cause one diver to struggle as he saw his friend in trouble? The team worked hard to fix the main guideline, figuring out the puzzle of broken lines. Beyond the restriction, they found the main line mixed with others. It seemed possible that the line was broken before, and Kevin and Rich didn't notice or got confused in the silt. The sad event really highlighted how important it is for people to work together quickly in tough situations. When the divers were in trouble, it took too much time to find the guidelines that could have helped them. 
This delay might have changed the outcome for those divers who, unfortunately, didn't make it. We need to remember that cave diving demands a lot from divers. They have to be ready, not just physically, but also mentally, for all the unknown challenges they might face underwater. So being well prepared to take on these unpredictabilities is very important for anyone who wants to enjoy cave diving safely. We would like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, take a dive on the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we come back with another exciting cave diving story.